What's up boys and girls, this is Sean aka Hi Roll on 1969. Uh, I promised you guys a few car videos, so I'm going to be doing a wheel bearing on a 98 Ford Ranger today, so stay tuned. We're just going to get right into it guys. There's no explanation as to why, there's no reason to talk about it. Just needs to happen. Okay, we got a lug nut that's stuck. In one of those. Okay. Cool. Got to keep our lug nuts here. Okay. Now this guy. I'm going to show you how to remove that guy right here. So pay attention. Get yourself a screwdriver. Oh, I've got some dirt in here. Let me get on a better. Make sure your full wheel drives on lock first. So right now it's locked. There we go. Now we're free spool one, baby. Just get in there with a screwdriver. You're gonna wanna pry very lightly, very carefully. See that? Boom. Easy enough, right? Set that aside where you're not going to get any dirt in it. Oh, we got ourselves a little broken O-ring here. Eh, well, I'll have to replace that. We got them. Get yourself one of these. Definitely need these. If you don't have these, then you might as well just put a bullet in your head because you shouldn't need you shouldn't be doing this job, and the reason why I say it like that is because you're going to feel uh, very frustrated when you can't get it out. So, I'll show you what's going on here. There, inside here, there's a uh, little retainer clip and a small spring that is connected in there that helps hold the front axle in place or well, the front CV joint in the place there so right now what I'm using is just a pick with a small end that's bent on it oh almost got this one part out Okay, well we got that one spring out, kind of flew out, but I'll show you what it looks like. This is the little pick I made, like a while ago. Got a little bent at, bend at the end, and that's the uh, spring I was telling you about. Don't throw this in the dirt or anything, take good care of that. We're gonna, Try to keep this inside here as clean as possible. Now we're going to take our uh, C clip pliers and we're going to remove the little retainer clip that's inside here.
died on me one day because I wouldn't give him a cigarette. I only had three. Now that we got that crap out, now we're moving on to this crap. So, caliper's got to come off. Two bolts on the back of the caliper. Oh, it came off really nice. Two uh, bolts on the back of the caliper and then two bolts on the back of the caliper bracket. three bolts you can see them sticking out there's one there's two there ones over there on the other side that's what we got to work on here one there one there we'll turn the wheel the other direction we'll get the one on the other side over there This is where people get stuck and then they get all worried and upset. Separating the, uh, the bearing from the uh, actual spindle itself here. Got some dirt on there from going through the dingy weeds. Just send a little bit of vibration through it, it'll separate. Victory! I win! Yay! That wasn't so bad. Now this wheel bearing right here came from uh, came from actually eBay. Uh, didn't get it from our special parts people. Uh, we waited a little bit to save a little bit of money. So um, this wheel bearing came with an ABS sensor uh, with the wire. This vehicle here does not have ABS, so we just simply snip it off. And we're just gonna take it and we're gonna set it in there. So the hammer, get a couple taps on it. And uh, start your bolting. Don't forget, you gotta put your three bolts in and then uh, be good from there.
Now we got a we got our rotor on. I think my yeah my camera shut off somewhere on there, but we got our rotor on. We got our bracket back on. We're just gonna uh, lubricate the brake pad just a little bit. Hi, a little Mom. bit of this stuff right here. Hold on a second. No no no. Uh, ask her ask her if John's there. Is Dick Polar there? Dick. Dick Polar. John. Right. Put him on the phone real quick, please. Who is that? Tell her, tell her who you are. It's Ogre. What does he want? I don't know. No. I'm not telling the four wheel until it gets fixed. <laughs> I don't even want the four wheel. No. Tell John her to put... wants John. Yeah, tell her I'm to put John on. the phone. Hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're not telling the four wheel until it gets fixed. <laughs> I would have gave her 800 bucks yesterday for it. John! Yeah. Um, John! Yeah. Alright, listen to me. Uh, Ricky McFarlane. You work with him, right? Yeah. Okay. Ricky McFarlane has a uh, Chevy Corvette. Does he live over by McFarlane Drive? Oh, okay. All right. Well, listen. Does he talk to his dad? Does he talk to his dad? Yeah. Okay. Uh, does he do work at his dad's place still every once in a while? Every once in a while. Okay. Uh, sitting, sitting over there, John, is a Corvette. And it caught on fire. Uh, Corvette looks like it's from, like, the early 90s. Maybe a... Right? It's a black Corvette that's sitting behind his dad's old garage. Okay. And it, like I said, it looks like it caught on fire. Can you ask him if he's willing to sell it? Why don't you call him by the bus garage? Is he there right now? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. What's the number for the bus garage? Uh, 696-2112, and then you wait, and they'll tell you what to press for the transportation department. 2112? Alright, he's not going to get in trouble if I call? No. Okay, I'll call him right now. Bye. Bye-bye. Alright. get in focus there we go okay so this vehicle is done uh, the 98 Ford Ranger I hope it helps somebody uh, maybe you learn something hopefully this is Steve and uh, the other guy that was talking to me is over way back there I'm gonna put you on the hood for a second Now I'm going to pump the crap out of the brakes. You've got to make sure to do that before you even think about moving your vehicle. Make sure to pump your brakes. Uh, make sure that those are, those are on nice and good. 
and uh, make sure that they that they feel right. If not, then you know they got a problem. Don't even take the vehicle out anymore. So, anyways, guys, this is Sean, aka High Roller 1969, and I am out. Peace. <laughs> Please prescribe to this channel or subscribe. I'll, I'll, subscribe, whatever. All right, or I'm gonna come to your house. There you go. <laughs>